Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. At an average distance of 483 million miles from us, the gas giant orbits the Sun. The planet was named after the Roman god of joy and wisdom. Jupiter is important in our solar system for several reasons. Weighing 2.47 times as much as all the other planets combined, it contributes significantly to the balance of masses in the solar system. If Jupiter were to disappear, other planets could be pulled out of their orbits, collide, or whirl uncontrollably toward the Sun. Jupiter also acts as an important protective shield, keeping massive asteroids out of the orbits of the inner planets. Naturally, this planet is watched with particular concern by researchers on Earth. The more we know about this important planet, the better we can assess changes and react if necessary. Now Jupiter currently has a peculiarity that puzzles researchers. To date, scientists disagree on whether a strange phenomenon on the surface of the gas giant is simply a freak of nature or whether it's a serious disturbance. But before we turn to this anomaly, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel to never miss any of our latest videos on space travel and exciting astronomical topics in the future. Of course, if you like the video, we'd also appreciate a like. We now move on to the discovery that puzzles scientists. Jupiter's Red Spot The gas giant Jupiter is normally characterized by a uniquely marbled surface. What at first appears to us to be a solid structure is actually gases, clouds, and currents that are in constant motion. The structures visible to us are clouds of ammonia, which freezes at the extremely low temperatures in Jupiter's upper atmosphere. The formation of the winds and vortices are very likely due to gas streams rising from the interior of Jupiter. From the less dense layers between Jupiter's core and absolute surface, these flows are deflected and then swirled in the planet's stable gas layers. In the midst of the light brown, beige, and white storms, something we know as Jupiter's great red spot has formed. This spot is a massive storm that may have been raging on Jupiter for 300 years or more. Presumably, this striking anomaly on Jupiter's surface was first discovered and described by Italian astronomer Giovanni Domenico Cassini as early as the 17th century. As the third brightest planet in the solar system, Jupiter could be observed very well with comparatively simple telescopes more than 300 years ago. The latest discoveries of astronomers at that time regularly caused a great sensation and inspired scientists, artists, politicians, and soothsayers in the same way. Thus, the red spot on Jupiter was soon effectively realized by artists. In the artwork Jupiter by the Italian painter Donato Credi, completed in 1711, the spot was already visible. In 1672, Cassini drew the spot in Jupiter's northern equatorial belt. Today, however, the great red spot is in the southern equatorial belt. Cassini and his astronomer colleagues of the 17th to 19th centuries already suspected, completely correctly, that the spot is a gigantic weather event or in other words, a storm. Today's researchers rule out the suggestion that the spot wandered over the equator of Jupiter because it's a generally valid meteorological rule that storms cannot cross the equator line. Researchers still puzzle over whether the storm dissolved in the northern hemisphere and formed again south of the equator or whether a small technical detail was simply to blame for the observation differences. The simple telescopes of the astronomers of the late Middle Ages often turned the picture upside down. If you turn Cassini's sketch, the red spot would have been approximately where it still is today. What can this spot mean? If Jupiter were a person going to a doctor, the medical professional would view an apparition like the great red spot with the greatest concern. Only further examination would reveal whether it is a skin disease an abscess, or, at worst, a tumor. Skin diseases manifest in the upper layers of the skin, while abscesses reach further down into the tissues, and tumors can affect the entire body in depth and slowly destroy it. Researchers naturally wanted to know if the red spot on Jupiter's surface was a serious planetary disease or an entirely natural or superficial phenomenon. For decades, 
Telescopes like Hubble have been regularly pointed in the direction of the gas giant. And with Juno, a probe flew to Jupiter again in 2011 to find out what was really going on there. Since 2016, Juno has been observing the gas giant at close range, also providing impressive new data and images about the Great Red Spot. On July 11, 2017, Juno flew over the Great Red Spot for the first time. At a distance of just under 5,000 miles, the spacecraft took several images and used a microwave radiometer to determine the structure of the storm. A storm of superlatives. For us Earthlings, it is truly difficult to imagine a gigantic storm that has a diameter of almost 10,000 miles, has been raging for more than 300 years and constantly reaches wind speeds of over 420 miles per hour. The highest wind speed ever recorded on Earth was 253.8 miles per hour, reached on April 4, 1996, by Cyclone Olivia on the Australian island of Barrow. Here on Earth, tropical storms like Olivia are cyclones or hurricanes with a funnel and a center of atmospheric low pressure. The Great Red Spot, on the other hand, is an anticyclone with high central pressure. On Earth, this would correspond to a strong winter storm with snowfall. Infrared images confirm that the Great Red Spot is much colder than the surrounding area. Winter anticyclones and tropical cyclones are weather extremes here on Earth, lasting a few days and then giving way to sunshine and blue skies again, especially in tropical areas. On Jupiter, however, the extreme wind forces are permanent, and the masses of gases that are whirled around inside the red spot are gigantic. Researchers are, of course, very interested in why this storm is a single phenomenon on Jupiter's surface and what the consequences of such a megastorm are for the entire planet and possibly the solar system. Juno's microwave data show for the first time that the red spot is certainly not a superficial skin disease of Jupiter, but extends at least 124 to 186 miles deep. Strong wind bands within the red spot are called jets by researchers. And according to Juno's measurement data, these are said to reach regionally as deep as 1,864 miles into Jupiter's lower layers. This zone is already below the dense cloud bank of water and ammonia. What is inside Jupiter, we do not know at present. However, NASA is considering building a probe that would be dropped over Jupiter and collect measurement data for as long as possible during its journey into the interior. Since little is known about what prevails inside Jupiter, researchers will have to construct the probe's safety envelope largely on spec. Premature loss of the probe is among the risks of the planned mission. The probe would have to be able to withstand extreme winds, cold, perhaps heat inside, extreme pressure, and toxic substances. Little Red Spot, the Baby Storm in 2000, three smaller white storms on Jupiter's surface joined together to form a larger storm that turned red in the years that followed. Astronomers christened the newly formed spot Red Spot Jr. Initially, the two storms moved in opposite directions. Then, in 2006, the Great Red Spot and the Little Red Spot came remarkably close, yet swirled past each other. It currently remains open whether the two will eventually merge or whether Junior will go on its own way. Is the Great Red Spot disappearing? Since the appearance of the Little Red Spot, researchers have not been quite sure whether the astronomers of the late Middle Ages really observed the same red spot as we do today. Apparently, the spot is not a unique anomaly after all. In fact, it's quite possible that more red spots will form on Jupiter in the coming decades. It is equally possible that the extreme storms will disappear. What is clear, thanks to years of intensive observation of the spot, is that it's already shrinking in size. About 100 years ago, three Earths would have fit into the Great Red Spot. Today, our homeland would only fit into it once. If the development continues in such a way, the large red spot, which for so long was the recognition sign of Jupiter, could completely disappear in 20 to 30 years. Since the great red spot has been shrinking, its shape has been changing from an oval to a more circular appearance. Measurements with the Hubble telescope have shown that the anticyclone is getting taller as it shrinks optically. The red storm stirs up to three miles above the surrounding structures. So it could also be that the storm is just compressing overall while stretching upward. 
which looks to us on Earth like it is shrinking. Researchers attribute the differences in size to energy losses due to friction, collisions with smaller storm vortices, and general heat loss. Normally, these losses are balanced out by secondary circulation that constantly adds energy to the storm. Scientists consider strong temperature differences between the cyclone and its environment as the main driving force of the storm. If these temperature differences disappear, the storm runs out of fuel. If they remain, we will continue to be able to admire the Great Red Spot. What does all this mean for Jupiter's future? At present, we on Earth can only guess at the significance of a storm the size of the Red Spot on a planet that is an important part of our solar system several million miles away from us. We don't know how devastating climate change on another planet would affect our Earth. Nor do we know whether unforeseen events could cause planets to undergo major changes or even perish. For these very reasons, astronomers, cosmologists, and physicists will continue to intensively study all phenomena in our solar system and throughout the universe. It's also certain that we will stay on the ball. Here you will always be informed about important discoveries and news. We hope you enjoyed the video. Leave us a comment and tell us what you think about the gigantic storm on Jupiter and whether you consider it dangerous or a normal phenomenon.